Hi everyone, this is Lakshman. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about one of the uh, frequently asked entry questions that is, uh, can we create an object to an abstract class? Okay, so an abstract class is one of the main features in Java Ops concept. So, first let me define what is an abstract class. Abstract class means that it is a process of uh, showing essential things and hiding implementation details. Okay, then how can we define an abstract class? If any class having an abstract matter, then that class should be declared as an abstract keyword. Okay, so what is abstract matter? Abstract matter means that uh, if any uh, method is partial implementation, that means that there is no body without a body. If any method having without body, that method is nothing but a abstract method. So let me take one example, then you clearly understand. The <coughs> Here I am taking one class, employee. In that employee class, I am taking public abstract void salary. So here, uh, this method is no body. That means no implementation. It contains no implementation. Okay. So that's why it giving suggestion the abstract method salary in type employee can only be defined by an abstract class. So if any class having abstract method, then that class should be uh, declared with an abstract keyword. So, abstract, okay. Now, there is no compile time error, okay. So, the question is, can we create an object for this abstract class? So, let us try to uh, create an object for abstract class. Then, what will happen in this? Uh, Class name is employee e, new ent. Now it's showing some compiled error like cannot instantiate the, the type ent. That means why we are we are not unable to create the object for employee class because this is a partial implementation. There is no there is no implementation here. So, what is the use of to create an object for this one? Okay. So, if it is the implementation, fully implementation, then we can create the object. But it has only partial implementation. That is the reason Java people uh, given the rule for that one. It, it cannot create the object for an abstract class. So, then where we can implement this one? In the sale class. We can implement this method in the class. So that is the reason we cannot create the object for employee class. If you try to call the method by using employee reference variable emp m that is salary. So there is no use. What we can call from this method without implementation yes, that is the reason we cannot create the object for an abstract class. Okay. So thank you for watching.